Hey everyone, it's Megan with Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be planning at my catch-all planner for the week of October 30th through November 5th using the Halloween Treats Kit by Sammy Lynn Planning. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I actually wasn't planning on... <laughs> doing another Halloween spread. I was planning on this past week to be my last Halloween spread, but I am extremely obsessed with this kit and I could not bring myself to not use it. So I decided that we were going to do one last Halloween spread and that's going to be the Halloween Treats Kit from Sammy Lynn Planning, and I am still currently on her PR team until the end of November, so if you would like to save some money off of your order, you can use my code MEGAN15, and you will receive my freebie, but we're going to go ahead and jump into this week. Okay, so let's start with our date covers. Hold on, I don't need this. We've got the date covers here and the washi strips. Perfect. Okay. I think we're actually going to use um, one of these. I'm going to go with, let's see, uh, probably the purple would be the best color to cover up the spread with. If this will come off, come on now. So at the time of me filming, it is not Halloween, but when you guys see this video, it will actually be on Halloween day. So are you guys planning on going trick or treating? Are you going to do anything for the rest of the Halloween season? What are your plans? Let me know. Um, I am working until the 4th. And then I'm off and I'm going to decorate for Christmas. I know some of you are probably screaming in the, in the, uh, at the camera, but I love Christmas. It is my favorite time of year. And for the past like four or five years, I have decorated for Christmas on the first week of November. I try to decorate directly on November 1st, but sometimes, you know, I'm just not able to. For example, you know, I'm going to be working until the 4th, so I will not be able to decorate for Christmas until my off days. But I'm okay with that because I love Christmas decorating. I will have two full, three full days, really, to decorate for Christmas, and I am so excited. Um, and it's not actually because uh, of where I live. I loved decorating for Christmas, even growing up. Um, when I was growing up, we would decorate for Christmas on Thanksgiving Day. We would have our Thanksgiving meal. Most of the time, Mom would cook. And as we got older, we would help. Dad would set up the Christmas tree and take all the decorations out of like our little garage thing that we had. And we would watch the Macy's Day Parade while we started decorating the tree. And of course, help mom if she needed any help in the kitchen. Um, sometimes, I, I know a couple of years before I was, you know, able to actually help or, you know, being a teenager wanted to help I would watch her and then you know help out get ingredients and such um but we would decorate for Christmas we decorate the Christmas tree while we were watching the parade and then after the parade was over we'd have about you know an hour or so until it was time for lunch and we'd have Thanksgiving lunch we wouldn't have Thanksgiving dinner and we would have our Thanksgiving lunch and then we'd clean up, you know, put everything away, and then take a very long and well-deserved nap. And that's how we would spend our Thanksgiving, and it was such a fun little tradition, and I absolutely loved it. Um, and then after we woke up from our nap, you know, usually we'd finish Thanksgiving dinner or whatever, Thanksgiving lunch, by like 2.30-ish. We'd get up around, you know, 4.30 or 5, start 
decorating more, taking things out and organizing and all that fun stuff. And then we would eat leftovers, Thanksgiving leftovers, of course, because leftovers are amazing. And we'd eat Thanksgiving leftovers until, you know, for that night. And then we would just eat on the leftovers until they were gone. But we would have like our Thanksgiving like, pie and things like that on that night. And so I always loved Thanksgiving because it was such a fun little tradition. And unfortunately, you know, because we're grown-ups, we can't really continue that. But we try our best to continue the Thanksgiving tradition. Um, at least I try to um, in my apartment. I try and keep up Thanksgiving tradition. And my sister is like all for it. She says, you know, you know, whatever you want to do. You need help decorating, I'll help you. You don't want help decorating, I'll stand by and give you a thumbs up and a, you got this, and <laughs> watch you decorate the apartment. Um, but yeah, we, we try to have Christmas decorations up by, by Thanksgiving now. That was a really long explanation, but I really love hearing about other people's traditions. So I thought maybe you guys are the same and maybe you like to hear the traditions of other people. It is so much fun to relive our Thanksgiving traditions and I don't know. I think it's an adventure that I love to do. I love, love, love Thanksgiving and I love Christmas so much. Christmas is my favorite, favorite time of year. Okay. Mm, I think we're going to do this black box here. I'm going to put it underneath. So, yep, yeah, that's a little bit of our tradition in our family. Um, do you guys have any traditions that you used to do when you were growing up? Do you still do them? Um, if you do, tell me. I would love to hear about your fun little Thanksgiving traditions. If you guys do anything for Halloween, I would love to hear that too because, like I said, um, I'm not a huge Halloween person. I don't like the, you know, the horror aspect, but... I do enjoy other people's like excitement of the season and of course I love the Disney version of Halloween where it's not scary, not so scary, haha, -ha. um, where it's like not a scary thing and it's kind of like a fun thing. That's my version of Halloween. I'm a huge like cutesy person in terms of Halloween. So let me know if you guys are the same. All right, I've got three more boxes here. I'm trying to use up as much of this kit as possible because I do, I do like, I do like this kit, but I don't want it, you know, I don't want to continue. I don't want to hold on to it for next year because there's always some really cute kits every single year. So I like to mix and match. Let's do... do that and then what we can do is we can put one of these to be like a little little to-do list box and then I can have one of them for work whoopsie I am knocking things over left and right over here y'all I am being crazy. Okay, and then also we want our habit trackers here. Okay, and then we do need some to-do lists. So let's get, uh, we'll use these two. And I think, no, it needs to go this way. This one's got to be at the bottom. And then we will put this one like that. And we've got 
that for to do. Um, I want it to face a different direction. I want it to be next to each other. So do that like that. All right. Okay. So payday is going to be on Tuesday. Um, huh. uh, okay. Hold on. Payday is on Tuesday, right? So we want a box for that. I guess we can use this one and just put it right here. Okay. And then Wednesday is laundry day. So we'll put that box. Um, let's use this one. Put it there. Like that. And then we can come over here and make this our cleaning list. And I think I'm going to use the black bullets for the cleaning list. And then I need some more boxes over here. Let's do one there and one there. And then I think, let's do a purple because we don't have too much purple in here. The purple box underneath. And it's like maroony color. Let's put that a little bit like right there. Um, do that there kind of wanted a little layering there. Maybe I could do that with this one. We'll see if it'll come up. Alrighty. And maybe one more box over here or t a cluster maybe. We'll leave it there. I feel like that's good. I really do. Oh, you know what we can do though, is we can put this weekend banner on the weekend. Right there. Look at that that is so fun I like that okay so the last thing we need to do is figure out the spine situation because we I I don't like it and you guys know that um so what I could do I actually think I might cut this in half so I'm gonna get my little handy dandy big cutter here. I hope this is half. No, I don't think that was half, but that's pretty close. So, okay. My plan 
is to line the spine with this. I don't know if it's going to be enough though. And then add these along the edges. So let's see if that will work. All right, everyone. That is it for this week's plan with me in my catch-all spread using the Halloween treats kit from Sammy Lynn Planning. I absolutely love it. It is so, so, so cute, and I am so excited with how the spread turned out. I think it was very, very fun to put together. Once again, if you guys are interested in saving some money off of your order, you can use my code MEGAN15. It will save you 15%, and you will also receive my freebie, and this is what it looks like. I actually don't have the physical freebie with me right now, unfortunately. If you like this video and you want to see it more from me, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already so you are notified when I post new videos. And don't forget to keep an eye out because coming up later this month, probably, I oh gosh, I hope next week, but if not next week, the week after, you will start seeing my setup videos come out um, because I am very, very, very excited about it. And something else to look forward to is my Disneyland vlog series is finally going to be coming out. Um probably I think Saturday is when I'm uploading the very last of my Serenade of the Seas vlogs. So if you miss any of those, they will be in the description box under my Travel With Me playlist. Um, so hopefully next week is when my first Disneyland video will be out. Y'all, I am going as fast as I can and there's a lot of content, like a lot. I think my first Disneyland video is about six hours long, full of content, so it's taking me a little bit to upload, but hopefully I'll have it uploaded by the end of the year, because it is technically a Halloween-themed trip uh, that we took in September, so I'm so sorry. Like I said, it's taking me a very long time to edit, along with having a full-time job, so just be patient with me. <laughs> Like I said, if you like this video and you want to see it more from me, check out the description box. There are plenty of playlists for you to browse through, different kinds of content, different kinds of layouts, and my vlog series as well that have all of my cruise travel vlogs and some other fun things as well, including the Disneyland vlogs like I just mentioned. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, craft on. Happy Halloween, guys. Bye!